Mom, two problems. One, I was literally about to start the Friends series finale, but the internet on my iPad still isn't working. Problem number two, I'm pretty sure I just watched you in an episode and you were credited as Julia Roberts. How come all I can think about is putting that ice in my mouth and licking you all over? That would have been so meta. Yes, yes. Yeah, so in the new movie, Leave the World Behind, Julia's on-screen daughter, played by Farrah McKenzie, refuses to leave behind her favorite TV show until she's seen the last one. As the movie starts, she's trying to get through episode 11 of season 10, the final season, the one where the stripper cries, or the one where Danny DeVito dances. Oh, this is so hot! Dad, when we get back to the city, can you take me to see the coffee shop in Friends? Mm, don't think that's real, honey. It's, uh, it's just a set. It sure sounds like she's watched the 228 episodes before it. I have incredible anxiety about how they're going to wrap up the show. Don't you think you're taking this a little too seriously? So she would have recognized someone in episode 36 in season two. I hate actors. <laughs> yeah, Julie Roberts guest starred in the one after the Super Bowl. Excuse me. Nah. -uh. <laughs> uh, is your name Chandler? Uh, yes, yes it is. But yeah, the writer director Sam didn't think it was necessary to switch out Friends for another TV show. Metro asked Julie about it on the red carpet at the London premiere. When he added that element for the daughter, it's just such a great, it just shows the way that we all have something in culture that, that just comforts us. I'm never gonna find out what happens to Ross and Rachel, am I? It makes us feel good. For me, it's America's Funniest Home Videos. <laughs> like, it's different for different people. I don't know if Julia purposely sidestepped the real question there, but yeah, no one's challenging the idea of using a TV show as a source of comfort or escapism. It's just that TV show being friends, Julia. <laughs> You're on it. It's a little weird. <laughs> Why do you care so much about that show anyway? They make me happy. And I really need that right now, don't you? At the end of the day or whatever, you can sit and it gives you comfort. It's a it's, to it, yeah. yeah. Now when E.T. brought up the Friends Connection, Julia looked back at her time shooting the guest spot in 1996 very fondly. They were all so welcoming to me as just a kind of one-off character, and it was a really fun time. Now, just to acknowledge it before we get into the discussion, this movie was completed well before Matthew Perry passed away, and Julia was actually dating Matthew at the time when she did her guest spot in 1996. A sudden passing of anybody so young is heartbreaking, and I think that it just helps all of us just appreciate what we have and to keep going in a positive way as best we can. And it's beautiful he could sort of be honored in that way or like the show sort of be honored coincidentally mm, in, mm -hmm. in this time so it's kind of nice that it has a little space in there. Yeah in that regard it was um, pointed to use Friends of course they didn't know that at the time when they were shooting this movie over a year ago. So yeah let's talk about using Friends as the TV show in this movie. I don't know if it took me out of the movie but it definitely you know stood out for me like why not just use I don't know, like Dawson's Creek or Gilmore Girls or Golden Girls or Who's the Boss? Like, I mean, I just don't get why it had to be friends. Like, because the show isn't really shown in the movie at all. Like, I mean, you see it on her iPad at one moment. But, I mean, it's not really about being familiar with friends. It's just the idea of, yeah, watching a TV show and wanting to finish a series that you've been watching. So, it could have been any show, really. Hearing the Friends theme song as the final moment in this film certainly, you know, took it into a very dystopian, not dark, but, yeah, just kind of a slightly creepy place. But I mean, I think Thank You for Being a Friend would have done an even better job than that. I care about them. Yeah, I just don't see why. They would just switch out Friends for another TV show. Like, I don't see what the big deal would be. It's not the massive fail of the movie. It just, I don't know, it just seems like a weird thing to just let go. What do you think? If there's any hope left in this f***ed up world, we'll at least find out how things turn out for them.